Samsung just announced four new phones. I only have three because I can't hold them all. That includes the Galaxy S10e, the Galaxy S10, the high-end Galaxy S10 Plus, and then the even more high-end Galaxy S10 5G, which is coming in the second quarter. Here's what you need to know about them. The highlight feature is the new Infinity O display, which runs from top to bottom and left to right. And there's just a little cutout for the camera. All the phones have 128 gigabytes of storage on the base model, which is enough for most people. But you can still expand that with a micro SD card as you could with previous models. They all have an IP68 water resistance rating, so you can drop them in the pool. You don't have to worry about it. Another favorite new feature of mine is called wireless power share. So you can turn it on the menu and then wirelessly charge something like headphones by just dropping them on the back of your phone, which is really cool. Or if you wanted to share some of your battery life with a friend, even if they have another phone, you can put the phones together and the one will begin charging off of the other's battery. And another really cool feature, instead of having a fingerprint scanner on the back of the phone or relying on Face ID, this has a fingerprint reader built into the screen. So you just touch a specific area and it starts to recognize your prints. And when you're unlocking the phone, even when it's idle and the screen's off, you can just tap the fingerprint area and it'll automatically unlock for you. One of the standout features of the larger Galaxy S10 Plus is that you can take portrait photos with the front-facing camera. Okay, so that's a quick first look at Samsung's new Galaxy S10 family. The three LTE phones, the Galaxy S10e starts at $749, the Galaxy S10 starts at $899, the Galaxy S10 Plus starts at $999. These will be released on March 8th. Then there's the Galaxy S10 5G, which launches in the second quarter, and pricing for that has not yet been announced.